Hello everybody, in this episode I'm going to be covering how to import footage into Premiere Pro. And one thing I want you to notice is when I first open up the splash screen here, and this is super important, there's a new addition to the 2017 update of Premiere Pro. Uh, I just want you to notice that they included a picture of Trump right down here in the bottom left hand corner of that icon. Um, okay, anyway, so we're going to go to new project here. Right now, I'm just going to go to my desktop so I can just start importing footage. I'm just going to save a project on my desktop, which I normally don't do, but I'm just going to do it just so we can start here. Call this import project. Okay, and once we open up our project here, we've got our project window down here. And this is where you import media. Let's go over uh, media really quick before we actually get into the Premiere Pro thing here. I'm going to open up my project. I'm going to open up my uh, hard drive here. And this is an actual external hard drive. I kind of recommend if you're editing on a system, you can use your system and work right and uh, transfer files to the actual uh, computer that you're working on. But oftentimes, if you're working on external disks, you're going to have uh, media on that external drive. And no matter where you're working, well, the thing that I should recommend is uh, create a folder for your independent project file. If you, these are all individual projects project files in here. Once you have a project folder, that's where you're going to be dumping footage. So I've got, let's see this project right here. I'm going to go in this project folder right here, and I've got all the media in here that's been pulled into this uh, specific project. This was all shot on the red, so I'm going to double click on red, and we've got three different cards that the red was shot on. So just a quick recommendation when you're dumping footage to the computer. First of all, I would not recommend, in general, do not import footage directly from the SS, from, from the solid state card that you have plugged in from your camera. If you plug your camera into the computer, don't import it because once you unplug that, it's going to disconnect and it won't be there anymore. It doesn't import it and transfer it to Premiere. It can, and I'll show you how to do that. But just keep in mind that just simply importing it doesn't bring it onto the computer. So I, I would recommend, unless you're in a hurry, don't import the footage directly from your SD card. First of all, transfer it from your SD card. So your solid state card, if you have a camera card like a red card or a compact flash or an SD card or a micro SD card, plug it into your computer, transfer it to your computer, and then import it into Premiere. So everything's on your hard drive in the proper folder in the proper place. This red footage has been imported from the solid state cards and is now on my hard drive. And notice what we've done here. Under this first folder here, I've got Lonely Night, I've got Red, which is the red camera footage, and I've got card one, two, and three. So these cards are named after the order that they came in. So I got card one, and I just grabbed all the footage, everything. And in fact, I didn't dig into these folders and find the footage and transfer the footage off. What I did is I just opened up, this is what it looked like on the solid state card. I just did a control A to select it all, control C to copy, and then went into my card one folder and control V and paste and pasted everything off. And that way I have the entire card there, the entire structure of the card. Don't go through and start grabbing files and moving over individual files. Just grab the whole dang card, transfer the whole thing over the way it is, because Premiere figures a lot of that stuff out. And sometimes there's just some important metadata in some of these folders that you might need later on down the line. So I've got three cards here. Okay. And do not change any names of files on th these cards here. Don't go inside these and say, oh, I want to name this this shot because it's that shot or whatever. You can do the renaming in Premiere. Make sure you do the renaming in Premiere and leave the original file names uh, uh, alone and the original file structure alone as well. Because the renaming can be done in Premiere and then especially if you go into color correction on something like DaVinci Resolve, it needs to be able to reference those original file names to relink all your footage to through what's called a, an EDL. So just trust me, transfer the entire card off, put it in its own card folder, card one, card two, card three, and transfer it all off into that folder. Now I want to introduce you to a quick little item here as well. If you are in a hurry, if you're out in the field and you're trying to edit and you don't have time to transfer your footage from your card, you can start editing directly off of your card. And in fact, Premiere has a nice little option here. If you go under File and go to Project Settings, under Project Settings, you'll find this Ingest Settings right here. You click on that and it brings up in this tab with Ingest Settings. You can check mark this that you're going to ingest your footage. That means transfer it over to your computer. Say ingest this. You can select this and say copy the footage that I import. And then you can tell it down here. We will go through these other items later. Transcode, create proxies. I'll have a special episode on this. But right now, if you want to copy, if you so the scenario is you come back with your camera, you plug it in your laptop, and you want to start editing immediately, but you want it also transferred to your computer. You choose copy, you plug your camera card into the computer, and then you tell us where you want to save that, save that footage to. You can choose a location or do the same as a project. If you have a project folder, you can just have it there, or you can make a specific folder by choosing location and finding that specific folder location that you want to create, and it will import it into that folder. Right now, it's just same as project, so it's going to put it on my desktop. So now you hit OK, 
and then if you start importing footage here, any, now any footage that you import, it will immediately put it into your project window, and you can start editing with it right off your solid state card, right off your camera card while it's transferring, and it will actually pause the transfer while you're editing, and then it starts transferring, and then it will stop transferring, and so like a, it never slows down your editing, but it will keep transferring the footage while you're not doing anything, and you can get a quick timeline done. Then by the time you're done, and it's through transferring, you can eject that card from your system, and all that footage will have transferred over to your computer. But if you have time, I would just recommend transferring your footage, all your footage to the hard drive that you're working off, off of, and then import it into Premiere. And now let's start going over that. So sorry about that little tangent there. Okay, a few different ways of importing. First of all, we can, this is probably one of the more simple ways. You have Premiere open here, and I'm gonna click on my folder, and you have a folder. If you're on a Mac, you do it in your Finder, and you have your Finder open in, in front of this window. I'm gonna kind of move it to the side so I can see my project window here. Then if you need to import footage, right here, I'm gonna to go to some 5D Mark III, some DSLR footage. I'm gonna go, uh, uh, and actually, I could just grab this folder right here. I know I've got media under this 5D Mark III folder. What I can do is I can just grab this entire folder, drag it over, hover it over Premiere, and drop it. And when I go back in Premiere, it's going to bring up this little information and tell me that some file, file format is not supported. It's some CTG file that's on the DSLR camera. That doesn't matter because it will import the footage. Even though it brings up this error message, it did import the footage that Premiere supports. I'm going to go under my arrow here and arrow this down. And it maintains this file structure that I've just imported as well. It has a 5D Mark III, then the 100 EOS uh, 5D folder that's found on that card. And you arrow that down. And you have, I'm going to hold tilde. I'm going to hit tilde over this window and go large and show you all the footage. We've got a bunch of JPEGs in here. We've got a bunch of MOV files. Uh, so I imported that successfully. All right, I'm going to delete this folder. And we'll show you a different way of importing. Right now, once again, I have t hit the tilde key and this has gone full screen. It's a little squiggly key at the top left hand part of my keyboard. Another way of importing, you can hit Control I as your shortcut. Control I will bring open, once again, a browser window here. Uh, now we can navigate and find what folder we want to import. It. I'm going to select my Mark D. And you can go in and find individual files or you can just import folder. I'm going to hit Import Folder. And it brings up the same error message. Now, one thing that happened here, I hit OK. One thing that's happened here is I, it has opened up a media encoder. And what it's doing is it's assuming that this hard drive that I just imported off of is probably like a camera file. I did not turn my ingest settings off. And it is opening up media encoder, and it's going to be ingesting all those files to my desktop. There it goes. And now i got a whole bunch of crap going to my desktop. Look at all this crap adding to my desktop. So that's one thing you got to be aware of. I'm just going to hit Stop. Say, uh, would you like to finish? No, I don't want to finish this, uh, the ingest. I'm going to select in here, hit Control A, and delete in Media Encoder and get rid of that. So just be aware of that. It's going to send send that job over to Media Encoder to do, and I did not turn off my ingest. I just want you to notice that if you don't turn off your ingest, it will do that. But it did import, import this folder, same folder structure with all the JPEGs and movies, MOVs in it. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go to my, I'm going to go up to File, go to Project Settings, Ingest Settings, and uncheck that. So kind of important if you're just importing stuff over your hard drive and you don't want it to transfer it to a specific location. That's really so if you plug in a camera card and you want it transferring while you're editing. All right, yet another way of importing. We showed you the control I method. We showed you the drag folder method. And the other method is just simply double clicking in a blank area in this project window. And it brings open the same import window. And there you go. And then you can uh, navigate and import the, the footage. Okay, now for media that has a little bit more complex file structure, something like a RED camera or Alexa camera or Canon RAW footage, what it's going to do, let's go into this RED folder and show you. It has a, now, especially RED cameras that shoots their footage in uh, what are, what's called FAT32 format. They format their cards in FAT32, which only allows up to four gig increments. If you have a file that's longer, uh, then what would create a four gig file? What it does is it creates more than one file. It'll keep generating all these files and then put it in a folder. And when it finishes this one, it plays onto the next one and onto the next one and treats it all like it's one clip. These are actual files here that are, are notice this, it gets up to four, almost just under four gig and then it starts a new file. So just so you're familiar with that, each folder here on a red camera represents a clip, even though it's like uh, three different files in here. That's the beginning clip, that's the intro clip, and then it's got the first amount of the footage and then the second amount of footage there. And it's got it in three different files there. And this actually reads as if it's one single video clip. So if you grab one of these and you drag it in, and you drag it into Premiere, What's going to happen is going to give you the error message, of course, you arrow this down, and notice this kind of freaks out a little bit. It brings in your clip one and clip two, it doesn't read it as if it's one clip. So what you need to do, for more complex file structures, that's what the media browser is for, and this can actually be used for 
importing anything for importing audio, video, uh, DSLR footage, anything. I kind of like the folders and just the direct import for the uh, the less complex file structures. But for red footage and uh, and raw footage and other types of clips that have a lot of metadata w involved with it and raw footage involved with it, I like to do everything through the media browser. So under the media browser tab, we're getting out of the import window here and going to the media browser. And by the way, the shortcut for the media browser is, so let's go to our project window. First of all, shift one, it's actually shift eight down the timeline or down the, down your uh, down your numbers on the top of the, t the keyboard. Shift eight will jump to your media browser. Now I'm going to hit tilde over this to go full screen. And here, over here, it will show you, you can actually add favorites uh, by right clicking on them and add to favorite. So I'll put it up in your favorite location up there if you visit a location quite often. But uh, you'll notice all the hard drives that are attached to the computer here and also any network drives that are attached to the computer. I don't have any network drives here because I'm at home, so come visit me. Just kidding. No, don't. 